classes in session. Welcome to Unlearn 16 classes in session, guys. We're on location. Look at this place. Full location and, more important than the location, I'm here with Rhea May. <laughs> pre-concert sound check you got to go check out the tiktok i just made because it's hysterical and we're going to do the podcast right from the biltmore downtown oshawa that's right how are you doing today ria i'm really good do i have to go really close like i this? don't know i feel like we don't i don't often use this kind of microphone um but but i feel like i should lean in i don't yeah. know why yeah it's, it's very a vibe. it's a we should have been hanging from above should have been Damn. hanging from above so you're on tour what okay there's so many things we need to talk about. Do you want to start with anything? Yeah, the first one out. is that you say tour because tour. you're from Ontario and I say tour because tour. I'm from Nova, Nova Scotia. 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 So tour and tour. Yes, I'm on day. This is the third day of our tour. 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 And um, we played Toronto last night. How was that? It was really good. You know, we had a full house in the old mod club. Remember the mod club? I do remember the mod club. I'm that old. Yeah, and so now it's Axis Club, Axis, Axis. Theater, something, but it's the old mod club. It was really cool. It's a little vibe. World War II for me, but whatever. It's, it's a bit World War II. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're just making our way across. We're ending in on the East Coast of Canada, so Halifax. Very nice. Very nice. So how many shows are in this tour? I want to say 12. You're just guessing? I'm guessing. You're guessing. Yeah, I'm stopping after 12, you, no matter what. At 12, you're like, I'm done. If yeah. there's a 13th in Newfoundland, I'm sorry. You're going to have done. to deal with the puffins out there. That's we're all you done. get. All right, so you're on tour. I know you have a beautiful wife and babies and life. How hard is that to leave? Oh, it's awful. Is it horrible? It's horrible. Please excuse the noise. They're obviously burying somebody in ice back there. <laughs> yeah, just shove his head right in there. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the um, It's really hard to leave home, but it's, you know, it's also a break. Parents will know it's a break, too. So, like, I get to right. sleep eight hours a night in hotels away from my kids for a couple weeks and your poor wife i know she's struggling right she now seems like but, two. you know i'm trying to manage my guilt and just be in the moment so <laughs> okay okay i'll back off that yeah. i'll back off what is your a i have so many questions for you okay um a what are you drinking right there can i make fun of that first uh, i'm drinking some flow joe so what the hell okay, what is this this is alkaline what, what what do you need the al is that a battery what do we need alkaline or water for it's my battery so i can wake up so i see i have no energy and when i drink this i'm ready to play are you joking stop it i'm gonna be honest i didn't read i don't read i don't pay attention to details i don't know what i'm <laughs> drinking i just knew it was wet flow if you'd like to sponsor ria may there you go get her some uh, alkaline batteries this tastes in different taste tastes metallic hmm. uh all right you're about to roll in what is your favorite part of performing you've been a oh, look how long have you been at this for musician 800 years? years 800 years doesn't she look good guys we have the best lighting here <laughs> we're moving in here i'm going to do all of my tiktoks and podcasts from this light it's it how is long? great lighting um i've been doing it a while maybe close to a decade but you know what this is the first tour back after the pandemic so how does so that feel it feels weird i feel a little bit older like usually yeah. you feel six months older i feel certainly three years older well, and two kids older and which is like um, what 15 in real life two kids right. is 15 years that's is right that, yeah absolutely that's how it goes yeah so it's good it's good to get back to it though and see familiar faces of people that used to come out to the shows that might not be in my memory but as soon as i see them at the show i'm like oh it's that guy that comes to all the you know and it's oh really such a, oh yeah it's such a fun catch up to so see you, people you that, have like regulars that'll be in each tour spot yeah yeah oh. and it, that's actually one of my favorite parts is connecting with those guys after because usually it's a more casual conversation they'll be like, right you know do you remember me i had that sign i'm like of course i do of course you i know? remember and that sign. they'll usually i have a new you know when i have a new merch item i'm like they usually have all the old merch. Yeah, so when yeah, there's yeah, a new yeah. item to be, I'm like, guys, there's a new t-shirt. It's going to be great. What merch? Where's the oh, merch? Oh, you'd love this. I got a new shirt for you. Where, we, well, we're going to get the shirts before we, we come off here. Don't worry. We'll get the shirts. Um, what's your, so coming on tour, you like, you like reconnecting with the fans. You like all of that. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest part? I know your family, but what's the mm -hmm. hardest, what, what do you think the hardest part of this is? Because performing is amazing. It's your music. It's your passion. It's your soul. All these songs are yours. I get that. But do you ever get up here and go, I'm just, I'm tired. I you know need what? to lie down. Mostly the shows are great. It's the whole day leading up to it. Yes. And you don't really have control. And like, I really like having control of my day. Like, I'm usually like, right. hey, we're going here at nine. We're going here at 10. 
you just have to be really zen because you don't know how the day is going to unfold. There could be a tech issue. There could be a weird hotel thing. There could be could traffic. There could be a tech. I- Look it, guys. I'm going to be real. I-, I mean, I've been around the music a little bit. It's not that there could be a tech issue. Be honest. There will a seven have seven tech issues. There will be a different one every night. A hundred percent. And and then you are constantly having to rely on all these moving parts to be on time, which, mm-hmm. and I start to sweat when I think about it. Not never. Not nobody's ever on time. Yeah. So you really have to let a lot go and just. I don't be... think I could do it. Is that what's held me up for my music career? I was just gonna say that. That's it's, it's my when I think of your stuff? music career. I'm like, that's I, the one element you never had. When I think of my musical talent, what I've been lacking is a zen. Maybe if I drank some of that water. I think you okay, need I'll some get some water. Later. All right, I'll get some later. Uh, you're on tour right now. What's your favorite song on tour? Don't say you don't have one because you're lying. What's your favorite the of, song that me of this lineup? Um, of my own stuff. Like, there's a song called... Are you stealing some of mine? No, <laughs> the world is falling apart. And you know what? I started playing bass this tour. Oh. Just to, mainly just to because Chris is better at guitar than me. Right. And he, I want him to play the guitar parts. So, um, yeah, it's just fun to get into the bass and just change it up. So, okay, so what, lyrically, or is it just because you play the bass in that song? And you're just like, oh, no, um, I, I can rock this song. It's both. I like singing that song. Um, I like the harmonies. I like the vibe. It's not the lyrics... Because at this point, all the lyrics are mine and they're, I've sang them a lot. <laughs> so what it is for me is on stage, what gives me the most energy is like this song is kind of like a medium tempo. Where right. I like jamming, I get to sing harmonies with my drummer, Matt, who's like the Rankin family. And uh, do you know the Rankin family out here? I, I do, out here? We're, we're not in holes out here. Listen, it's a very here, distinct culture out east. Out in Toronto? Yeah. Where all culture exists? Except for the Rankins. We know the You don't the have that Rankins. Celtic moment up here. All my American folks <laughs> might not know the Rankins, though. I'm not too sure. We have some Celtic. Uh, I usually have on a clotter ring, but I wasn't wearing it tonight. I love Damn that. It. Would have been so much useful. Um, all right, so you're on tour. All of these hotels, do you have anything that you take from place to place to place to make you feel like, okay, I'm still at home? Okay, I feel a good vibe. Like a blanket? A teddy? No, there's no room for anything. Just tiny take, stuffed animal. Maybe this. Would Somebody be. should send her one. Can you guys please get her a like a lose cute it. little? You I'll know, lose it. I'm not this? even allowed to have AirPods. I'm can't, my wife doesn't let me have anything that I could lose. I don't have anything because I lose it. And if I have it, I'll lose it. Okay, so she needs like one of those big squishmallow things. You guys should send it to her so she can have maybe throw them on stage. Yeah, I'll give t- use your PO your fan PO box and just send her squishmallows. I think those are the best idea. I don't know what that is, but I love the sound of it. It's like a giant teddy. Is that because you're from the East Coast? Maybe. Uh, Cultural difference. You have the Rankin family. We have Squishmallows. That's what it is. They're like these giant puffy pillows, but they're shaped as characters. My students are very into it. I wouldn't be able to fit that in the suitcase. Yeah, you could shove it. It, You squish it down. It's a squish. I'll believe it when I see it. It's a squish. Squish. Mellow. Okay, I need some dirt. Dirt? I need some dirt. I need what is, look. Let's be honest. You started your career by saying take your clothes off to a bunch of lesbians. So I didn't say let's, it was just to the lesbians. I said it. Were you to saying everybody? We did you what? I was saying it actually. In, in everybody. All fairness, I was saying it to one person, take- and then everyone took it in their ears. <laughs> so I don't. I'm not in charge of who hears it. Plausible <laughs> deniability, folks. What is the dodgiest thing? What's the dodgiest thing a fan's ever done? Oh, there's dodge. Come on, give it one dodgy story. Um, it can be from a long time ago, pre-wife. You can like pre, we'll, we'll pre-date it. Um, you know, I get a lot of invites to places after, but I'm I'm in bed. My band laughs because I go to bed. Like when the show's over, about eight minutes later, I'm sleeping. Oh my God, you're um, not supposed to tell you know them what? that. You're it, a rock star. Yeah, you're especially when Close Off came out, I'll tell you that. When Close Off and Gold came out, there was a little more invites, but I was really into someone at the time. So you just- So I didn't, I never had that moment of like, I'm kind of glad. Yeah, Which probably honest. accelerated the invites because you're now withholding. Maybe. They just got bigger and bigger and bigger. bigger invites. Nobody ever like showed up outside your hotel room. Yeah, no, we've had that. We've had that. Yeah. Come, you're you're just, she's being so coy. I want to know all the details. I feel like there's, there's like, have clothes, have clothes remained on? Is that if somebody snuck into the okay, dressing room? Okay, here's what I'll tell you. Here's all right, what you all right. Know. Guys, there's... you ready? Quiet down. Listen. No one has ever showed up with no clothes on. Look, but there has been, you know, well, sometimes I'll find a note on my hotel door. So I'm like, oh, clearly oh, someone's known. <laughs> clearly someone's known I was sleeping eight feet away. 
Um, I always blame Chris. I'm like, Chris, you that gave me shivers up. up my neck. I'm not too happy with that one. That doesn't yeah. make me feel good for some reason. Yeah. You know what? And that's it's a fine line between being flattered and scared and sometimes. Scared. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And for me especially, I used to be a server at a restaurant, and I would have these like old ladies request my section, and that freaked me out. Request your what? Request my section. You know, can I let me sit in Ray's section? And that gave me trauma. I was like, what do they want? Are they trying to hurt me? So, like, you know, when people show up at the hotel door, I get, yeah, it's, sometimes it's scary. It's, it's a little scary. I don't see uh, who they are, so, you know, it could be anyone. Listen, I, the note on the door is a little creepy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Okay, what's, what's, your, what's your dream? Like, right now, you've accomplished amazing things. You two are all over the place, you know, write beautiful music. Everybody's vibing. What's in your head, a beautiful family, what, what's the thing you want to do next? Hmm. I have a, a goal that's just like a weird goal. Like I'm it's excited. just on my list. I'm so excited is, right now. So is it me I've playing been, guitar in your band? It's that and I have I've been fortunate enough to have a bunch of success in Canada, and I have some plaques. I got some gold and yeah, platinum. Yeah, you do. I would really like one from another country, and I'm going to tell you, God or whoever, I don't mind. I don't care what country it is. I just want to get like Germany, go, Australia. You just want to go somewhere else. Uh, Doesn't well, have to be Australia, the American one. You have. You have connections yeah, yeah. now. Totally. But Roll it doesn't it have out. to be the big American right. platinum, although I'd love it. But I want just one. I just have this weird thing. Like, it's one of my makes no difference, really, but I want that. And that's, that's it. it. Is that boring? You, just, you, you know no, my only goal boring. going into this? Because when, when I signed my record deal, they were trying to get it out of me. What, what, what do you want? What's your five-year – what are your goals? And I was like, oh, um, I want to be on the radio. I want to squish And they were like no. – you want to be on the radio, and they were like, yeah. And and I was like, radio. I had never thought about that. I was like, and what? I had what? never. And they were trying to be like, dream bigger. Yeah. They were like, no. But they were. I, they were like, do you want a platinum record? And I was like, I guess. And they were like, do you want a tour with anyone? And I was like, mm, I, no. I mean, I'm I guess tour. Tegan I'm and it. Sarah. Like, Tegan and Sarah is a nice. But goal, honestly, sure. I didn't have those goals. You like, toured with Tegan and Sarah. Yep. Um. That you know what? Okay, I'm going to tell you guys something. I've known Ria. How long have I known you? Six Good years. chunk of time. Good Six chunk years. of time. One of the most authentic, amazing human beings on the planet. Stop shaking your head. You don't even have Not any me. good girl naked stories for crying out loud. That's how authentic and good she is. Oh, she has God. no dodgy stories. See, She's I'm not boring. hiding anything. I'm boring is what it's called. She has a lovely heart. Boring. But I wonder if what's kept you in that sort of frame of mind, A, let's be honest, the East Coast just breed good people. I think it's the fresh ocean it's the air. Rankins. It's the Rankins. <laughs> Shout out to the ranking <laughs> Um, But maybe it's because that kind of humbleness, like that kind of humility, that kind of like, I just, I want to be able to do what I love and have it play on the radio. And and that's it. That's as high as I need it to go. Yeah. I'm wondering if it comes from there. Like, that's where real success builds, you think? You know what? I think there's a big work ethic and a big humbleness from the East Coast. I think it sometimes works out for people and it sometimes is a hindrance. I wonder how much of a hindrance a lot of my – I won't speak for myself. Yeah. yeah. I got a bunch of friends, and I'm like, man, if you just, like, stop staring at your feet and just say, I have this goal. But right. you know what? I can say that for myself, too. So I don't know. But at the same time, it's the hardest working, greatest people, like – and I'm not talking about myself, but the musicians I'm thinking of that haven't left that area. Um, I don't know. It's a special place. This is a this is now a tourism ad. Everyone should go to not the east coast of Canada like Toronto, but the east like that the was a real hard east. Tea. Ease up on the Toronto, <laughs> but the other east. You know the farther east, but not to be confused with the far east. It is Nova Scotia, <laughs> it's right in the middle of Newfoundland, the east. Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick. Come visit us. Beautiful place, absolutely beautiful place. But I like that. I like that humility because again, this is a business that can really. Well, two things. Number one, if you don't know who you are walking into it, oh, right? Yeah. It's, it, it can be uh, crushing. But, but number two, I think if your aspirations are fame and money, mm -hmm. which to me, when you say I want a platinum album, like your, your, your accolades at that point are fame. You know, your accolades, not your accolades, that's the wrong your word. Goal. Jesus, what's your, wrong with me? Your, your goal? Yeah, your, yeah, your drive is fame. Like your motivation is wrong. Mm. But when your motivation is, shoot, I just want to write my own stuff, get a band, get in, a, get in a bus and have it play on the radio. So when I walk into a supermarket and I can hear, you know, my latest track, no, that's it. That's it. Yeah, you have to be, I think if your goal is money and fame, it's going to 
it's going to weed those people out. Is that the term? Because like, yeah. it's so much work. You have to really be passionate about the path. Because mm-hmm. if you're just passionate about the goal, this is not the business for you. Right. Maybe the stock market or maybe like stock market, you know, or maybe like taking your clothes off on Instagram or something. That's a different site. We can't it's talk about it on that. It gets pulled right <laughs> off YouTube. Um, so, so that kind of, um, I guess that kind of goal and that kind of keeps you in a good, in a good space. Have you ever felt like you're just like, shoot, I've been doing this for 10 years. I'm getting a little tired. I'm getting a little, you know, whatever. Like, am I gonna, does that feel like that? Cause everybody has that in their career. Oh, I feel right? like that in this moment right now. Yeah, no, I feel, I do Talking feel that. Talking to me. She- <laughs> yeah. I was great before you showed up. Um, I do right feel now. that. Yeah, of course I feel that. Like, um, I feel, of, I, I, you know, I feel more of it as a, I'm like, I did not think I'd be here at this stage in my life, like up on stages. What I kind of thought, I don't know. I think I thought when I was a kid, I was like, oh, maybe I'll like have a break when I'm 20. And then by the time I'm 30, well, that's old. And then I would have kids. Oh, shit. So now it's like I'm mixing the two. You yeah. Know? It took crazy. me longer to get started. So it's, um, yeah, I have those feelings all the time, which is interesting yeah of like oh i've been doing this and it's like i don't have the same energy i have to drink alkaline water and eat vegetables. battery waters oh, i vegetables. went and got vegetables for chris today because he's been living off of uh, fast food horrible. like yourself yeah um so you know just you know what you should do is you still eat mcdonald's every day you post yes. about it yes i do i need to i want to challenge you to something I've, I've already gone off McDonald's for three months straight. But what did you replace with? Burger King? No, no, no. I went off fast food. Okay. So I didn't, because I don't think McDonald's is any better or worse than any other yeah. fast food. So what I did for uh, three months, actually, I didn't eat, I didn't eat any refined sugar. I mean, I did in bread, but like no candy, no yeah, chocolate, yeah, yeah. no pop, nothing like that. And no fast food and no fr- deep fried food. That's great. Because I found a place in town today that's so healthy and I was like, so healthy we should go healthy organic delicious i was going to do a 30 day i was going to challenge you to a 30 day eating this food but what is you probably it? have to sell your car it's expensive um it's not that expensive it's good value car. that's like a big part um, of who I, am. I know it really is i forget the place but <laughs> i forget the place but it's great it's called something organic and it's in oshawa and we're not or not in oshawa pumping that out it's not in oshawa it's in the surrounding areas dude you'll find it horrible. you'll find it just go drive around oshawa not tonight. It's really foggy. You can't really, it's a lot right now, it's but a lot. you'll, you'll find it eventually. So when you get that, it's kind of interesting. Cause I think a lot of people look at musicians and performing and all the accolades and all the cheering and, and you think, Oh, you'd want to go forever. But I, it's just like any other job. Yeah. It can be like, I think the part that's on stage is mostly always really fun. The seconds leading up to it and the minutes and the hours and the months can be really interesting because that's the show's always different based on who's here yeah but like the loading in of the and the scheduling and the where's the vegetarian the place kit. in the city right. and the schedule she doesn't know where the she doesn't even know what it's called folks no and it, that's that can be a lot but you know what the show is what saves you and the show is what keeps me coming back to it and not getting a um not getting too worn out so would you yeah. consider yourself an extrovert or an introvert or a combination thereof? i don't know when i'm sitting next to people like you i feel like you're an extrovert a lot I feel like I'm an introvert, but when I sit next to like my wife, she would be like, you're the most extroverted person. Or maybe I just don't shut the fuck up when I talk to her. But I, so I think I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm like yeah. a bi-trovert. Like kind of like if you, you liked, well, you know, like whole, I'm an introvert and like, extrovert. If you like I'm bi. Both. Introvert, bi. extrovert. That's what she's, that means, right? She's bi. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. But I think that, but I think that's true because I think you're, you know, you're an extrovert on stage in the sense that you feed off the crowd. You love that energy. Cause I know a lot of, like a lot of very famous artists even who still throw up right before they get on stage. Cause this mm. isn't their thing. They don't, they don't really want to be on stage. They love music. They love creating. They love, but they still get that horrible feeling. And I'm True. like, why would you do this? I'm not going to name any names, but I, I've spoken to a few people where it's like, no, every time throw up right before I get on stage. Yeah. But, but you get a vibe. But I think when you're not here, you're not like you're not a you're an embedded ten kind of kind of person. Yeah, so I'm both. I don't know. I so, get nervous, really nervous before I play, and I also once I'm on the stage, love it, and I can't explain why and what that is. But I think that's the healthy energy, right? That nervous, it's like nervous energy before a you know you play a sporting event or something, right? Yeah, but it's you like touch a lot ball, of all goes away. things happening inside, <laughs> <laughs> and it's really like. I don't know. It's more for some, it's really weird. It can be more comfortable than like, 
like I could feel more awkward just talking to someone than I do singing in front of a lot of people. Right, right. So I don't know. I'm just, yeah, no, I'm just wondering, like, when you're on stage, the vibe is good. But when I just think you you are an extrovert, but you like minimal settings. I think you like social settings, but not tons of people. Yeah. Give like, me four people. Four people. Four that's people and some wine. Four people and, and a well, vegetarian that's probably because that's what I do that every night with remember. the band. Four people and some wine? Yeah, I that's do like... That's a great name for a podcast, by the way. We never finish one bottle of wine between four of us. Like, we have a we have a little sip. <laughs> You're, like, dismissing every rock and roll stereotype. <laughs> you know what? I'm extreme. Everything. I'm extreme. Okay? So, I will, I will have my extreme months. Not on tour. I, I'll lose my voice. But I'll have months yeah. where I drink a ton of wine. I get drunk. I go out. Don't worry about me. Okay? I'm very cool. I have that whole side to me. But then I have another side whole that's side. like, go whole to bed early, I eat healthy vegetables, and I try not to put toxins in my body, and I take my vitamins and my green juice. I take a Flintstone vitamin every day. I, okay. We're going to get you on to Athletic Greens, AG1. They can sponsor your podcast, AG1? too. You know that AG1? That sounds awful. Oh, you don't even know. That sounds horrible. It's really good. Is it like a shot of grass? It's like a green scoop you put in your no, water. I'm not into it. It's not like any other green scoop you've tried, and it's all your vitamins for the day. I'm not into it. And a it. Bonus, bonus, forced hydration in the morning. Forced. I don't like being forced into things. Well, forced hydration. Forced hydration. Can we do some fun questions? Are you yeah. raising for some fun, yeah. random questions? Favorite TV show on right now? Manifest. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Did you just spit at the microphone? Yeah, because I'm so into Manifest. It makes no sense. I thought it was going to shut. What, didn't it almost get canceled, then it came back? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Favorite TV show of all time? You can't say Manifest. Um, 30 Rock. What? Where does that come or from? Or SNL. I don't know. Anything like I like it. That's out of the box. Thanks. Favorite song of all time not yours um obviously it would be yours or uh, any of my originals frig i don't know i don't have a favorite song of all time favorite artist like i i would most top okay okay artist like, heart green top, day was my three, ki- artist green as a kid day, green I day like that's it. my band as a kid i like it green day uh, i like grew up with them. yeah and then i went on to like a tracy chapman and then to like uh cranberries little okay. zombie i like it 90s that's a solid 90s vibe yeah all right, cartoon character. No. What? No childhood? Like, no childhood. What do you, what do you mean? Oh, Not car- a single to me, cartoon? It, to me, it starts with The Simpsons. Cartoons, it like... Stu- I don't know, Bugs Bunny. Like, Bugs Bunny is not, like, that's... Bugs Bunny! That's a cartoon. It didn't feel like... It didn't feel like a cartoon? <laughs> what didn't, didn't it feel? Did it feel it didn't, like real life? It felt like real life. It didn't feel like I was watching that, maybe. But like those anvils look real heavy, Roadrunner. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. I can't explain. Favorite place you've ever traveled? Jo- Joshua Tree. That's like a basic oh, answer. Oh no, no, but I've it, never been. Oh, it's one of the coolest experiences my brain has had. I felt like I was on yeah. drugs, but you weren't. Wasn't on drugs. So okay, explain it. Uh, so you're you're out in the middle of the desert. The you're, shadows are different. So the shadows. What do you mean are, shadows are different? Like, the shadows are as long, like, you'd have, like, a guitar, and the shadow would be, like, 70 feet. Why? It's just the sun hits it different there. And it's hot, and the, it, the sun goes down at, like, say, 5.30, and at 5.31, you can see your breath, freezing cold. And the way the light was hitting was, like, it felt like you were on drugs. Like I was going, oh, my, and I was touching dirt and touching, and my whole band was, and people were like, what? You can't get over what it's like to experience that place. It's such a trip. Did you have to camp? No, we drove in and then we stayed in a hotel in Palm Springs. Okay, and then you just like, went out there for the day and then... Went out for the day and then watched the sun come down and went and drank some wine. Um, wine, a little bit of wine. Um, okay, so favorite place you've ever played? Best, you, you have a memory in your head of the best crowd, best vibe. Do you have that memory? Oh, God. my The thing is, my memory does this thing where... It, it holds all this that energy in my body. Like I, I, I remember a bunch of good ones, but yeah. all I can really remember is like the last really good one I played, which was which in was? New Brunswick. Okay. At a festival in St. John. Oh yeah. Wow. And it was on the waterfront, and the audience was so loud. Was that, that right at the end of COVID? That one you did? No, this was like this like a few months ago. Oh okay. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. I, I was, I've been really lucky. I got to play beautiful theaters with like Dido in the States and nice. I got to play amazing big rock venues with Tegan and Sarah and I got to open for Katie Lang and like a stadium. Small, small you know? venues. So like a lot Just of good things. Gatherings. But, but you know, you live for the drug of that most, the most recent good show. And that sure. for me, I think last night in Toronto was pretty epic, but uh, St. John, New Brunswick, loudest people ever. St. John. Usually That's I can't it? hear people when my monitors are in. You and they were like, that loud? And I was like, couldn't believe it. Like we, the band was laughing. We couldn't stop laughing because they were louder than the band. All like, right. Craziest thing you've ever done. Um, fuck. She hasn't done anything crazy. I Have you ever surfed? No. What? Too scared. Too scared? It's, the ocean scares me. Oh, mon dieu. Uh, uh, jumped out of a plane? Fuck no. Bungee jump? Nope. Ridden a roller coaster? <laughs> yeah, but I won't again. Coaster coaster. <laughs> I don't like anything like that anymore. <laughs> I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Have you jumped high on a trampoline? Nothing? I've jumped high on a trampoline. Do you have any tattoos? No. Not a one? No. Guys, don't you think she should get Unlearn 16 tattooed somewhere? <laughs> I don't like commitment of tattoos. <laughs> don't do that. Your wife must be listening. She likes it. She, if she does not want me to get any tattoos. No tattoos? She says one of her favorite qualities about me is that I have no tattoos. But I think <gasps> she's dated a bunch of people with lots of tattoos. Oh, so I think she's like joking. Oh, that's a bad taste in your mouth. That's fair. That's fair. But, um, so no, you're not in the business of any tattoo. No, I think about it though. Once a year, I think about a tattoo. And the next year, I'm really glad I didn't get that tattoo. What, what, so what have you thought about in your head? Uh, I don't know, like a tape. I think it's like a, a, a cassette tape. A cassette or like, tape. you know, never words. I, I know better than to put words on me because I would not like those <laughs> me words. Me too. Yeah, but you, you're decisive and you know what you like. I'm like a very, like, I float around and hit things. I'm like, I think I like that. I don't know what I like. So I think you do. I just think that it, that creative energy that you have that I would love to possess and is so impressive to me, it has to allow you that freedom. Yeah. I don't think you can be stagnant. Yeah, you I wouldn't know? want to be stuck in one thing or the other. One right. like, so I don't. Yeah, but tattoos look cool when you have no, a t-shirt on. Oh sure, so sure. I really am jealous of that. We well, can just paint those on. Yeah, maybe I'll paint just, my arms. Maybe tonight. some fake tattoos. Like we'll do that. up a big unlearn on your back. Perfect. All right. But I think that's important. That's a different kind of energy. Because as we're getting ready, you're like, wow, you have like who's whose energy do I have? Um, you said? My dad's business partner. Your dad's business partner. You have a lot of... Because I'm like, you know, setting things up, making sure it's good lighting, yeah. making sure you have a nice view of the back of the bar and everything like that. And I'm like, but that's the anal retentive side. That's mm. the... Right? That's the opposite a lot of the times of people with that kind of lovely, creative, zen-like mm. energy that I admire mm. because I think what it says and what I've tried to become in touch with as I get old is you you you're able to a be in the moment which i have a, sometimes a very hard time being like right now i'm very much in the moment right it takes another person to kind of ground me there yeah 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 and and this dialogue and this conversation but and then a be in the moment and b feel what you're feeling i know it sounds we're gonna get real deep here for a few minutes but like feel what you're feeling in that moment but actually understand it do you think you do as an artist as a person yeah yeah yeah, you do. Damn it. That's all I want. Yeah, I feel, think that I do have that. I have a little, my little son is almost four and he's very sensitive. Yeah. And he gets, sometimes if a person comes up and talks to me and their energy is kind of weird, he'll start crying. <gasps> so you just sense it. Yeah. And so empathic. now in that moment, I just ignore, unless it was like someone that's my friend, but now yeah. I just turn and face him and I like talk and I'm like, yeah, I'm able to articulate what that feeling is for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've really, yeah. But it's a lot of a lot of reflection on feelings. It's not always good. But well, but it is always good. It might it might not always be good feelings, but it's always good to be able to reflect on it. I because I think a lot of people like me wander around being influenced by my emotion without understanding it. Oh uh, yeah. And I think that's the power of an artist. Which you know, watching you perform and watching how much you feel your mu music is the most authentic thing. That everybody, you know, everybody loves a, loves a rock star. But I think what they don't understand is they're drawn to that authenticity. Hmm. They're drawn to... Wow, Naming the emotions. Shit, they're right in it. They're deep in it. Like, they get what they're feeling. They're expressing it. You know what I mean? Like, and there's a, there's a freedom in that. I don't think that many of us ever... You can't feel that somewhere else, really. 
Do you ever think about acting? Tegan and Sarah just did that whole thing, produced their whole like life yeah, story. Yeah, I saw that. Someone we could do that from me... the East Coast with puffins and everything. So puffins. Oh, Someone last me uh, asked me yesterday if I acted. Someone in Toronto. So that's the second time it's come up. So if it comes up one more time, I'm going to get an agent. Uh, Ria May, have I've you ever before. acted? I have acted before. Guys, write in the comments. I'm very good. So send me there some we go. work. There we go. Um, I like it. Yeah, I've acted a little bit. Does because does it give you the same? It, no. Yeah, music is different, right? Music is it, especially because you write your own. A lot of people don't. Yeah. And that's all you. Yeah. Whereas acting, you gotta let go of you. Yeah, it's very different. It's really some of the the parts. A part that I played once was very. I do emote like scream and yell and not cry, good. and I that's could get you. there really easy. What? Oh, that's easy, easy. You have all that emotional awareness yeah, but and intelligence. I, but at the same time, I can't. I'm not practiced in losing myself because my whole career has been hyper focused on myself. So, like, I think some people might think they're similar skills, and it, maybe it is. But for me, it was like two different things. No, it makes sense that it's well getting in touch with those emotions. It makes sense. It's like a muscle, right? If if you're an so, athlete yeah. and you know how to use certain muscles to perform and you know whatever, shoot a basketball or whatever. Yeah. Then and in your empathy and your connectivity to your emotion makes sense that you can connect to it when you need it. Yeah, in yeah. Diff- any capacity, absolutely. You would just draw on what real yeah, life. Yeah, that's example. my superpower. I could just that is cool think story. about it in my head, and I could either write a song about it or like scream it at you. <laughs> like, I like you know, that. If, if I'm in a session and I just meet people, and they're like, someone's like, I really, I just got broken up with. I want to write a song about this. You can put yourself in, there. Point three seconds. I'm there. I'm crying <sighs> with them. I'm like. But that's, that is amazing. But at the same time, I can't listen to sad music. I can't. I'm so affected by emotions. Like I can't. If someone's upset, I'm upset. And you, it, and but you can name it. At least you know. Yeah. That is. Look, that is a superpower. You know, if the world had that superpower, how much of a better place this would be? It'd be better. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. that yeah, that would be, be it. Maybe tomorrow, everything gets fixed. Tomorrow, everything gets fixed. And you, you are able to. Put yourself in somebody else's shoes and and truly empathize with what they're going through. The world gets better tomorrow. I mean, look at what just happened, right? Do you have any? Do you want to talk about that, or maybe not right before? What just show? happened? This the people getting shot. And, oh, jeez. Yeah, it's too much, isn't it? Well, it's it, yes, that part is too much, and then the response. I know you stay off Twitter. I it's like my personal hellscape that I can't stay away from. It might be the only thing I'm addicted to. Um, but it's the response, and, and I read what these people are saying, and I always think, if you had somebody in that space, if you know somebody, and, and this doesn't just apply to gay and trans people, it applies to, across the board to everybody mm-hmm. struggling, right? As soon as you have a connectivity to that, it changes everything because you get the emotion. Because yeah, most of empathize. us... You, so people well, are not being able to empathize. empathize but, but most of us... I'm getting better. Mm-hmm. We don't empathize well. We don't. We don't empathize well. It's a. It's a. We don't learn emotion. We we learn how to read Shakespeare. We learn how to ma- add and subtract. We don't. Well, we don't it's take true. classes on it's, that. You know what? That's really true. Right. We just expect people what to get it. Meanwhile, most of people have experienced a hellscape of emotional trauma or this or that or the other, and then we're like, what? What? Why don't? Why don't you understand? Yeah, I think that is like how humans are going to evolve is like understanding our empathy. emotions and empathy, I think. But it's like, yeah, being able to just put yourself in someone else's shoes. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's the whole world right there. It's so. Yeah. Fu- I just did this thing where I was talking about 54% of the U.S. population and they have a literacy rate of grade six or lower. Right. And I went Jeez. off a rant. But as we're talking, because I'm like education, educate, and I still believe that. But as we're talking, that's not what's going to fix the world quickest. And it, and it, and it isn't even, I don't even know if it's the, the most significant underlying problem. I think what you just described is, I think, us being able to understand each other. And I think that's what music does for people. I think it's a connectivity. What do you? I do agree that. Yeah, I think that it is... Yeah, definitely. I feel like it, it just shows you that other people feel the same things that you do. Like, it's easy to shut that off and be like, I have all these feelings and I'm hurt and I'm angry, but like, those people don't. Or yeah. Like that, you know? Maybe. And when you're in that space, when you're in that space, because I've been at your 
your shows before, you attract a wide, I was joking earlier about the girls with, you know, the naked girls, but you really do attract, no good stories, guys, a wide range of people, all different ages, all different, you know, identifying gender, like the whole gambit, really. Um, Is it and gambit? It, gambit? Or yeah. Gambit. It's gambit. gambit? Gambit. You're a teacher. Gambit? Gambit. How's Gambit? Damn it. Gambit? Dambit? Shoot. I, I can't even. I, I'll look that up later. You attract a wide range of people. But there is something cool in that. In that when you're standing next to somebody who might look like somebody you would never speak to, you would never interact with, you would never sit down and have dinner with, and all of a sudden you're singing to Swoon, mm. there might be a moment there. There might be a moment there when you're like, oh, shoot, this person, total different world, we can connect on that level. Maybe that's the, yeah. the line through. That was like, I went to Dubai and played at the Expo, the World Expo this year. How was and that? And there was, it was way more, I thought like, you know, Toronto and Berlin are multicultural, but like when you go to, to like a World Expo, it's like, it's not people that have made the move to your country. Yeah, it's yeah. people that are in their country right it's so right. you see the culture like you see the way people dress is so mm -hmm. different you feel like you're in the future and yeah ha connecting with a bunch of people from like countries that i never thought would be at my show and just being like chatting with them after yeah, is yeah, like yeah. really cool well there you go maybe maybe yeah. dubai is your place maybe that's that's me maybe that's i'm gonna it. move there next that's the second move there next that's <laughs> i'm so sorry i have should have better mic control move there next than i do on that beautiful point, everybody's getting ready. I can feel they're getting antsy behind us. They buried the guy in ice. She's got to get ready. You know, she's would you backstage any prep? Any Probably stretching, some yoga? Off, You're going to take the hat off? Yeah, and then that's it. That's that's it. <laughs> that is all the prep she's going to do. Yeah, do you want to tell everybody? Oh, and drink some more of this alkaline yeah. water. Where are you going next? Next in tomorrow? Next in tomorrow. Uh, London. Ontario. London, Ontario. Next. And, and then St. Catharines. You're just going to follow back about. And then Quebec region. We got Ottawa. We got the Maritimes. You name it. We got it. They're going to be there. Maybe Dubai a little later. Maybe Dubai. Um, check her out at website. Riamay.com. Nope. Riamay.com. You can check her on TikTok on Ria's Awake. Ria's Awake. Instagram. Ria's Awake. Uh, you don't come on Twitter because it's a bad place. No way. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you. Any last words of wisdom to the people listening? Any um, any inspirational message? Do you have a Do you have a favorite word? A favorite word? Uh, no. Okay. Sorry. Can you end this with something good? My please? favorite word is unlearn. That's right. Thank you so much for the plug. We will see you guys next time. Same bad time, same bad station. I won't have this one, but maybe I'll just follow her to Dubai. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> Dismissed.